All right, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at uh, adding custom fields and meta. And we're going to do that uh, using a WP GraphQL. So what I'm going to do is I uh, just get this code snippet and then I'll explain what's going on. So we'll just drop this here after our namespace and let's see. So it's using uh, the, the, the hook uh, GraphQL register post types and we're going to be adding an an unnamed function here that's uh, tapping the register GraphQL field. So in comparison to all the other pieces where we were just uh, adding a filter, and correcting information here, we're going to be using an add action. So in our post type, first of all, we need to add a post type. Then we are going to add an ID of the field that we're actually going to use, which is uh, the color. Uh, we add a type. Of data that it is which is a string uh, we add the description of course the color of the post and then we resolve it we add a resolver uh, which is just basically another function saying let's get the post meta and we pass in the id and then that will be the color uh, of course that has to be true and then if it is not empty then we return otherwise every other post is going to be blue so when we come back to our queries, we're actually able to query for this. So I'll go for the posts and then inside each post, I'll go for the nodes and then I'll just get the ID. And then if you look at this now, we actually have our color popping up in our options. So if I press play, you'll actually see that uh, we get back our data and on each post we have a color which is blue so the job would be on us to create a meta box that uh, our user can actually create on the front end and actually get this color and then make it into something else that is not blue inside our particular match day events we have a field here that i would like to get which is uh, basically the match day so i would like to get the match day what i'm going to do is i'm going to inspect it and then I'm going to get its name, which is SPD. That's uh, usually the ID for the meta box. We get it from the name. So I'm going to just come back to our post here and I'm going to get this and call it SPD, uh, which would be a really good name for our query. But I'm going to call it a match, match day. It's already SPD uh, on our content type. And this is going to be on the event this particular meta field or meta data field is actually going on only one post of that particular post type that's why we use the singular name here so it's going on the event i'll save this and then i'm going to come back here reload this and i'm going to go into the events uh, quickly i uh, will see we no longer have this color it's not effective because it's not available in our code but if I look for match day, we actually find that match day is available. And when I call for that data, you'll see that we have one, one here, blue, blue. Um, because our Sharks Eagles game, as we can see here, is actually under match day one. So let me change this to two and update this. If we refresh this data, you're going to see that our Sharks Eagles game is on day two. It's already available for us to use. So that's how you actually add an extra field of metadata into your WP GraphQL and it will affect it. 